All right, today we are going to uh, show you how to do simple chaining and a single crochet stitch. You can see each stitch is marked by a V shape in this swatch right here. Um, you'll need a crochet hook and yarn. The size hook you'll need will depend on the type of yarn you use. The yarn label will show you the type of crochet hook that you use, the size. So you're going to begin by making a slip knot with your yarn, which is a pretty simple knot. You just kind of fold it over and pull through a loop, and then you're going to stick that loop on your hook. Um, while you're creating a chain, sometimes it's easy, easiest to hold the um, yarn in place with your index finger so it's not sliding on the hook. Um, and then to uh, show you how to hold the yarn in your hand, you kind of twist it around your pinky um, and then drape it over your index finger to hold the tension. So for a chain, you're going to yarn over your hook and pull through a loop like that. So we're going to make probably about 10 or 11 chains here. Um, when you're chaining a project, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five there. Um, you want to um, do it all at one time to keep the tension the same. And you're just yarning over and pulling through the loop on your hook so that you create. It looks kind of like a braided chain when you're done. Um, sometimes it can get twisted around in the back. Um, and then I can show you here. When it's facing the right way, it looks like a braid. And now for your single crochet, you're going to um, insert your hook into each chain one time, each chain space. So... We're going to leave one space uh, free to grow our height, and then we're going to go down along the chain, in, in creating single crochet stitches. All right, so I'm going to skip the first space here, and I'm going to go into the second chain from the hook, that one, and I'm going to put my hook in, put the yarn over, Pull it through, yarn over the hook again, and pull through both hoops. And that is a single crochet. So now we're going to move to the next chain space, um, not working into the same space, working into the next one down, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through both two loops. And this gives us height as well as um, movement along the the chain so into the next chain space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops and you can see where it's forming the characteristic v's all right into the next space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops into the next space Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. And we're starting to form our, our swatch into the next chain space. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. And we're going to keep going until we reach the end. And then I'll show you how to turn. One way you can tell if you're into the next space or not is if you can see the yarn in um, that you just worked is in that space that is the same space, not the next one. So. All right, we've reached the end of our swatch. We're going to turn. Well, first I want to show you how it looks. Each stitch we made is a V on top, this V shape, and that's how you can count how many stitches you have. So, all right, we're gonna turn our work. And 
and we're going to go back the other way doing the same single crochet stitch. Get some slack here in my yarn. Get my fingers in position. Yarn over and pull through. I'm chaining one here to give me height before I go into under the V and then pull up my loop, yarn over and pull through. So we're working under the V's of the stitch. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. So once we've done a row of single crochet, it'll look a little different because we're working into completed stitches rather than into a chain. So we're gonna hook sliding, go under the V, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Just like that. Going down to the end of a swatch. I want to, when you're getting close to the end of your swatch, you want to make sure that you don't miss a stitch. Like sometimes the last one can be a little tight to get into. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. All right, we've got our swatch. Now we're going to turn, so we're going to chain one here. Again, this builds our height without giving us any width. So now we can, um, a single crochet is one equal to one chain. And we're going to then work into back into the first stitch or the last stitch we just completed. So one stick in a hook in there, yarn over, pull through, pull through two loops. So you're yarning over twice with a single crochet. Once when you've gone under the stitch like that. And then once again, when you pull through both loops. And this is the very basic single crochet. Kind of the foundation stitch for all the other stitches that come. And this is the same whether you're working in a straight line with rows, like for a scarf or a blanket, or if you are working in the round. And there we have our swatch. And you can see it's nice and even. Um, sometimes they'll curl up until you uh, block it later on uh, with some water, but there is a basic single crochet swatch.